We are always worried and concerned about Russia being unhappy, but we want to be realistic. We want to be realistic together with, uh, with our allies in NATO, together with Russians. We have, to, we have to see and look at the facts that neither the independent states that have suffered from Russia's aggression, nor the NATO states have ever created any kind of, of a problem or confrontation with Russia. This is a fact. I mean, once more again, you can hear, you can hear declarations that are, that are trying to demonize any kind of activities, but there is not a single case where Ukraine or Georgia or NATO allies have created any kind of complications for Russian Federation. But they don't see it that way. You know we that. Have to I mean, but you know, for example, Mikhail Popov, Kremlin advisor, again says NATO is an external threat to Russia and NATO enlargement is a threat to Russia's security. And here you are, Georgia saying you want to be a member of NATO and Russia saying that. That puts we you have, in a difficult position. We, we are in a difficult position, but this, this is, we have to stick to the main truth that what I have already mentioned. Plus, the main uh, goal here is to unite NATO members and make them understand, not only, not only to make Kremlin understand, but to make NATO members understand that a very clear policy towards, uh, towards uh, the countries of uh, Eastern Europe including in Ukraine, including Georgia, is making a much more stable and safer world. And if we are not clear about uh, the countries, independent countries around Russia and about their future destinies, does this make the world more secure? Does this make, does this make but, future of Europe more secure? But as Alexander Stubb, Prime Minister of Finland shares a long border with Russia, not a member of NATO, but could join in due course. Uh, quoted in the press in July, says there are too many people who want to isolate Vladimir Putin. There are too many people who want to isolate the Kremlin. And I don't think that is the way forward. Is I, he right or is he wrong? You're I don't trying to I, isolate Russia. You're saying we don't know why we're upsetting them. They should. They have no right to be as, upset. Uh, this is not. This is not isolation. On the on the contrary, what we are trying, the message that we are trying to send to Moscow is that peaceful, prosperous, stable Georgia is an opportunity for Russia versus a country on their southern borders which has problematic areas, which has pockets of uncontrolled territories, where you have drugs, where you have uh, trafficking. And those are issues that we try, and this is a rational message to Moscow, this is a rational message to our European partners, that a more stable Georgia, a more stable Ukraine is not a threat but an opportunity it's to not Moscow. 